It was 9.30 p.m. And after sitting in my car for half an hour, lazily pondering through my phone, I mustered up the energy to grab my not-so-frozen entrees to take into the convenience store to place in the microwave and use their bathroom. The bathroom was occupied as the door was locked, so I rushed over to the tables where sitting was forbidden, and I stood there, fighting not to lose my dignity, involuntarily releasing the water I was trying to hold. Can I help you find something? The cashier asked as she looked around to see what I could possibly want from behind her counter. No, I responded. I'm waiting for my food in the microwave. I was trying to use your bathroom, but the door is locked, so I'm assuming it's occupied. Yes, she quickly replied. If the door is locked, someone is in there. I stood there dumbfounded for a quick minute because I could have sworn I just said the same thing. But nevertheless, I gave way to the conversation going nowhere and said, yes, but if they're in there for this long, I'm not even sure I want to go in there after them. The cashier quickly apologized and said, yes, I know. It's just that we get these homeless people in here all the time trying to bathe and get cleaned up. And I'm just like, this is not your bathroom. I just wish they would go somewhere else. This bothered me because by my neat appearance, she obviously thought she was talking to her equal. I was well dressed without any horrendous body odors or obvious mental defects, and yet I was in a convenience store heating up my food and trying to use their bathroom after decent hours. You see, I've been homeless since February of this year, and sadly enough, I too have been put in a position of bathing in public bathrooms. However, realizing that homelessness is a mindset, I have since upgraded myself to the privacy of using Walmart's family bathrooms. <laughs> You'll never realize the convenience of bathing and shopping at the same time. <laughs> I have a store full of microwavables and ready-made breakfast when I'm done. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> but the cashier never recognized me as being homeless. I'm just as homeless as the people on the streets. I just consider myself to be very functional. I set goals to get accomplished. I work a full-time job, and I try not to be hard on myself when other people put me down. Because I've learned early on, it's not what other people think of me. It's what I think of myself. And I don't think of myself as homeless, but I think of myself as someone who has gone through some circumstances and I refuse to let my circumstances claim the best of me. I have reached my lowest point at times with being kicked out of stores, sleeping behind hotels on the streets, or standing in the rain all night because I had nowhere to go. But every morning I still rose, which means God has given me another chance to become the person I believe I am. I am resilient. I am strength. I am a beacon of hope to the hopeless. My present circumstances are temporary because my mindset has changed to receive prosperity and greatness. I am happy in my presence today because I know what my tomorrow holds. I am Alzonia Shalise. Thank you for listening. <laughs>